Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to How to Train Your Gavin. I promise you this is going to be a very chill kind of video. I know usually I'm a little bit too high energy, but to be quite frank, I've got aches and pains everywhere. I feel like I've aged 10 years in the last 10 days. So naturally a scavenger hunt is the correct course of action to remedy <laughs> this ailing body. So the whole purpose of this video is that I did get a lot of suggestions on my rainbow bookshelf video that I did recently. So I did organize my middle grade bookshelves in rainbow color. I, you can see kind of all right there, can't you? I mean, I think they look terrible. But you know what? I got a lot of nice comments on that video. So thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you for lying to me. Cheers. So I've never done rainbow shelves before. I've always sorted my books in alphabetical order by author surname and now I can't find anything. So a few people in the comments of that video gave some funny suggestions of maybe doing a bookish scavenger hunt with these rainbow shelves because it's just going to make the challenge 10 times harder. And you know what? I agree. I still haven't managed to find any book since doing this like a week ago now. This is going to turn out pretty okay I think. Now I need to do this video ASAP because these are not staying. As soon as July 1st hits, I'm turning back into a heterosexual male with heterosexual shelves. So it's now or never. It's now or never. Who knows, maybe after finishing this video, I might change my shelves back to the way they were even before Pride Month ends. Who knows? <laughs> I, I can't live like this. I love other people having rainbow shelves. I really, really do. But it's one of those cases where I'd rather see it then have it, like the clap. So if you have rainbow shelves, I'm pretty sure yours are gonna be a lot better than mine. I'm not knocking them, I just don't like them on my shelves. I did ask for suggestions, for prompts and things on my Instagram stories. So thank you so much everyone who has sent them in. I haven't yet looked at them, so I will go on them. I will take this nice and slow, take this nice and chill, and try and find books on these shelves because as I said, <laughs> it's impossible. I'm gonna put my coffee down. I really should be having coffee at like 10 p.m. See all responses. Let's go through them. Okay, there's quite a lot, so I am gonna go through as many as I possibly can. So first, find a book. Oh. Uh, rainbow shelves. Right, we're just gonna go with, oh God, what do I do? Right, I'm just gonna go with this because I literally just read it. Aggie Morton, Mystery Queen, The Body Under the Piano by Martha Jocelyn. Am I gonna tell you what these books are about? <laughs> I haven't decided actually, I'm going to tell you what these books are about in the scavenger hunt. Do I usually? So this is Agatha Christie as a kid and she solves crimes with her best friend who is called Peril. And it's kind of like what inspires Agatha Christie to be a writer as she grows up. So it was really good actually, I really enjoyed that. A book with a different colour on the front cover than the spine colour. Okay, this is really, that's a really kind of good question, I like that one. Let's just pull, pull some stuff out. Oh, I mean, perfect, okay. So front desk by Kelly Yang, it has like a red spine. And then on the cover, it's mainly kind of like blues, a little bit of pink, and it's like very bright and vibrant. So I feel like that counts, right? Front Test by Kelly Yang, one of my favorite middle career contemporaries, by the way. This one follows a young girl who moves to America with her parents from China, and they run a motel. And it's just absolutely fantastic, I love it. Book Future and Cats. Okay, a book Future and Cats. Like for some reason, every single book I've ever read has gone out of my mind. So I don't actually, Remember, what book has a cat? <laughs> There's gonna be loads, but nothing's in order, so I can't remember. And also, if I bend down, you will see my book rack. A book with cats. Oh, come on, it's definitely one. Oh, hang on, how about The Worst Witch? Come on, I've got loads of Worst Witch books, where are they? Where's The Worst Witch books? I've got loads of them. And they've all got different spine colors. Oh, I found one. The Worst Witch in The Wishing Star by Jill Murphy. I think that's a dog on the cover, but her... Oh wait, there's a cat there as well. <laughs> I love the Worst Witch series about Mildred Hubble, who is quite literally a very bad witch. Well, not bad, she's good, but she's just bad at the art of witchcraft. Oh, <laughs> a book with two cats on the cover. Oh, <laughs> let's see if I can find one. Thank you for that question though. I love how it's themed around cats. I wonder why. I also thought it would be safer for everyone if Ash and Tobu stay in the living room during this because I could end up falling over them. Two cats on the cover, this is, no. This is gonna take some time, I've got plenty of battery, so that's all good. Two cats on the cover, I'm trying to think of a story that required two cats. My question is to you, do you have a book with two cats on the cover? I'm starting to think maybe one doesn't exist. See, I've got loads of dogs on the cover because I've got 101 Dalmatians. Okay, we're gonna go on to the next one. We'll see if I can end up finding one during the time. Book with mushroom on the cover. What if I just showed you a big mushroom <laughs> instead? Book with a mushroom on the cover. Okay, so something kind of cottage core esque And I do feel like I have 
some cottage core-esque books. The problem is, where are they? The Hedge Witch. Oh, maybe the Hedge Witch has a mushroom on. But it's not in author surname order. Oh, hang on, I found it. Are they mushrooms? Okay, you guys don't have to be the judge of this. There's like a red thing there that looks a little bit like a mushroom. It could just be a flower because there's one there, one there. There's this here. That could possibly be a mushroom. I'm just going to say they are mushrooms. I'm just going to say they are. I think I'm doing pretty well. A book with pirates. Ooh, okay. Oh, uh, I feel like definitely it has a black spine, the one I'm thinking of. Oh, I didn't tell you what Hedge Witch was about. Never mind. I mentioned it in a recent video. <laughs> you can watch that one instead. There's a book called Vampirates that I haven't read yet, but it's like Vampires and Pirates, I think. Oh man. I mean, I. Oh, we found it. But here it is Vampirates, Book One Demons of the Ocean by Justin Sumpe. Oceans have risen, a new dawn of piracy has begun. So I do think it's like Vampires and Pirates. And I think there's like maybe six books in the series. I'd love to read them. I haven't read them just yet. Middle grade with LGBTQ plus representation. Where are they? <laughs> Sniff them out. Alright, I'm sure maybe with like white. Yes. I knew it would have white on the cover. I'm always going to recommend this one on uh, Made My Dad in the End of the Rainbow by Benjamin Dean. The main character, his dad, is gay and he tries to find out what pride means, which is very topical for this month with the main pride month. Yay. Book for each season. Ooh. Well, say, actually, that's a great question because I feel like for each season, I can mainly go by colour. So for winter, for winter, I would go with Frost Hollow Hall by Emma Carroll. This one follows Tilly and she goes to see Frost Hollow Hall. And I believe years and years ago, a girl fell through the ice and died. And now Tilly is kind of being haunted by her. So this is like set during the winter. So I feel like that's a good like winter book. Okay, so what's next? Summer. Something orange, maybe something hot. Let's go on the bottom. Oh, hang on, I've got one that's kind of spring, maybe. So, okay, we're gonna go for Spring Seed by Carol Lewis. We have a big vine that's growing. I think it's a little bit like a Jack and the Beanstalk retelling. The main character gets a magical seed from his granddad that grows. So I think that would be a good one for spring. But summer, summer is what I'm looking for. Summer, 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 summer. 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 You know what, I'm, I'm struggling for summer. I think it's because I don't really like summer all that much. I don't really have books that make me think of summer, especially when it comes to middle grade. I mean, summer gets also yellow because sun. Murder on the Safari Star by M.G. Leonard and Sam Sedgman. This one is set in Africa, and it's a boy and his uncle who solve mysteries, and they are on a train, and there's a murder. What's the last one again? Oh, autumn or fall. Oh, I've got loads for that. I've got loads for that. And most of them will be here, and like the blacks and the very dark blues, and here under the oranges. Okay, actually, you know what? I'm just gonna go for it. The Haunting of Aveline Jones by Phil Hicks. This is a perfect autumn, Halloween, fall kind of book where a young girl tries to uncover the mystery of a ghost. Aveline finds a book of ghost stories, one of them scratched out, and the girl who the ghost story book belonged to has been missing for years. So it's very spooky, very good for fall. A book that surprised you. It will surprise me if I can find it. Oh, I know a book that surprised me. And you guys will probably know it as well. Oh, where is it? <laughs> where is it? In fact, I got a couple of copies of it. Uh, so this should be easy. But where is it? Oh. Brilliant, I found it. Orphans of the Tide by Sherwin Murray. Honestly, I was so surprised by how much I love this. I wasn't initially gravitated towards it. You know, it looks good, but you know, it's, it just looks like another middle grade. But then I read it and I was like, oh my God. So it's out in the last city on earth, everywhere else has been flooded. And there is a boy who washes up in the belly of a whale. And everybody believes that boy to be the enemy returned. But the main character, I believe her name was Ellen, she doesn't think that he is the enemy returned, so she tries to save him. It's a very gothic-like city, and it's just so good. And honestly, it just surprised me, and it had a really good twists and turns in it. I'll always say that one about a middle grade book that surprised me. A villain origin story. Oh, damn it, I know a few over there in the YA and Alex section, but they're not rainbow, so we're not touching them. Disgusting. Okay, what was the question again? A villain origin story. A villain origin story for middle grade. To be honest, I don't think there is a middle grade that explores a villain that's already been established. 
At least I don't think so. There's definitely YA books like this. I think I might have to skip this one. Yeah, I don't think I have any, I'm afraid. A book with summer vibes. Ooh, summer. Summer, summer. 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 I'm sorry, but every single time I say summer, I have to think of it like the High School Musical 2 song. I'm pretty sure there's an Ashley Heron Blake one. If I can find it. Oh no, I can't remember what the spine colour is. Is it like a very light colour? Could it be over here? Oh my gosh. Come on guys. Oh man, I, I don't know what the spine looks like. I've forgotten. And I think with me being a bookseller as well, I'm pretty used to seeing books spine on. But we've never had actually having Blake books in our store because they're not traditionally published in the UK. So I can't remember what the spine looks like. Oh, what about maybe King and the Dragonflies? Was this set during the summer? I do remember getting some kind of summer vibes from it, I'm sure. Okay, I'm just gonna go with King and the Dragonflies by Kays and Calendar for this one, I think. But yeah, this does follow King and his brother Khaled died. And King is also struggling with these inner struggles of his sexuality, as well as his best friend who is called Sandy and his sexuality and things like that. So really good book, really loved it. I read it last year, it was fantastic. A book with a one word title. Okay, perfect. One word. I'm not gonna pick any of the books on the very top because I cannot be bothered to pick them out. Okay, I'm gonna try and pick one that I've read. Oh, stop looking over there. One that I've read. Oh, you know what? Surprisingly little. <laughs> Surprisingly little one word titles on my shelves that I've also read. Interesting. I mean, there's Coraline, but I didn't really wanna bring out books that are just so overdone, you know? Oh, I've got one. Okay, but yeah. I just said not one that's like overdone. Bambi. <laughs> Bambi by Felix Salton. I actually did enjoy this one. It was a really great kind of exploration of wildlife and kind of our effects on the animals in like forests. And it was just a really touching story and really fantastic. I mean, I love the Disney movie, but the book was actually really surprisingly good. So I would totally recommend that as well. A book with a character that you can personally relate to in some way. Oh, I do, there is one, but he's up there. Character I relate to in some way. None of them, because I'm unique. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna grab it, okay? I'm just gonna grab it. Frost Top by Jamie Littler. <laughs> I do really feel a great connection to Ash, the main character. Look, there's Ash and there's Tobu, and that's who I named my, my cats after. But Ash, I do feel like... Ugh, I do relate to him a lot. Like he feels like he has to hide his powers, which you know, I feel like I had to hide my sexuality. And like, it's kind of like the way I projected myself onto Elsa and Frozen, who is like hiding powers. She's, you know, running away from other people and she kind of wants to like be by herself most of the time. Like I project myself onto her. <laughs> it's kind of like how I project myself onto Ash. So Ash from Frostheart by Jamie Littler, I do feel quite a lot of connection to. A book with a crown on the cover. Okay, what military books have royalty in it? Uh, crown. Come on, royalty. Some kind of princess or prince? Wow. Wow, I am a fake middle grade reader. Honestly, there are loads of YA books that I can think of with a crown on the cover, but not middle grade. <laughs> Come on, come on, come on, come on, a crown. Oh, or maybe a Pages and Cole book, because usually they have a lot of symbols and objects on the covers, like random ones, so not on the third book. Where are the other books? <laughs> I know one of them's blue on the spine. Crown, 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 no. <sighs> oh, maybe Beauty and the Beast? Lost in a book? No, I think I'm gonna have to give up again. Oh, hang on. Stolen Prince of Cloudburst. Without a crown on the cover? Are you joking me? You've got Prince in the title, but you don't have a crown on the cover? Where is the Lost Fairy Tales? Come on, just a crown. Just a crown. No, it doesn't have a crown on. A little plea to middle grade illustrators of covers. Stop putting more crowns on. A book with Q in the title. Well, again, I can think of a million. YA ones. Right, let's try and think of some Q words. So we've got Queen or Q. Quest. Quest! Quest! Oh my god, Quest. I do have a, a middle grade book with Quest in the title. And I got it quite recently as well. Frankie Best Hates Quests or something like that. Oh my god, where is it? Got it. 
Yay, okay, I finally got one. Frankie Best Hates Quest by Chris Smith. This one is about Frankie Best, who goes on a quest, and she hates quests. A book where the colours of the spine don't feature on the cover. Okay, so a book where the colour on the spine doesn't feature on the cover. I feel like that's going to be impossible. So I'm going to try and look for a book that has one block colour in hope that's not on the cover. I'm sure there are a couple of proofs actually. It has a block colour on the side and then the cover is totally different. I think maybe one of the Umbrella Mouse books has that. <gasps> and I found one. Oh, I mean, it does kind of have the white on the top. I'm not going to count it though. White on the spine there. And then it's more like a orangey silver on the cover there. Like that's just like full on white and then orange and silver. I'm not going to count this because it says uncorrected Macmillan proof copy. So that's not really supposed to be part of the cover, okay? But I feel like that works, right? <laughs> like the white isn't on the cover. You thought you had me there, didn't you? You thought you had me. Book with a colour in the title that isn't a colour on the cover illustration. So book with a colour in the title. Okay, let's see if we can find some books with colours in... What about the author name? Hmm? Like maybe something like Hannah Gold? Because I just saw, which this does have gold on the cover, by the way, but Hannah Gold, I'm sure I have a finished copy of this. Does that count? Does the author name count? I do. Um, it's like a blue. I'm sure it's a blue. Oh, wait, no, the writing is gold. Shit. <laughs> the writing's in gold. Okay, where's her other book? Well, the writing is in gold. Shit. So that's that plan out the window. Okay, so let's see if we can find some books with a colour in the title. Oh, When the Sea Turned to Silver by Grace Lynn. Oh, oh, there's a big award sticker on the cover that's silver. No, I'll, I'll try and look for another one. Even though I did let myself off with the previous question. Oh, hang on. The Red Pyramid? I wouldn't say there was red on this cover. I would say this is all like orange. I would say this is an orange cover. Yeah, I want to say the Red Pyramid because I don't think this is a red cover. This is orange. This is orange. So I want to count it. You can let me know down in the comments if you feel like I shouldn't count it, but I am. A butterfly on the cover. A butterfly? Okay, so maybe something College Corey again. Something College Corey. I say I feel like there could potentially be one on an Emma Carroll book. But again, it's not an alphabetical order by author surname. Which one would I have said? Uh, think. Remember. Remember when you remember. Remember when you remember. I have a Cottage Core recommendations video that I did a year ago, and I cannot remember for the life of me what I put on that. Oh, hang on, in Darkman Wood, was it that one? Oh, there's mushrooms on this one. Don't say a butterfly. Oh, how about the wild folk? Shadow is a butterfly on this. No, there's birds. What about the first book? There's a first book in this. This is Wild Folk Rising. There is a first book somewhere. I can't remember what the spine colour is though. That one might have a butterfly on because it's about nature, essentially. It's about animals and nature. So surely there is a butterfly on that cover. But what is the spine colour? This one's, I'm trying to remember from before I changed everything over. I think it was green. I think it was green. So let's put that one back. I think it was green. So it should probably be around about here. Oh, I found the Ashley Heron Blake books that were in blue. They were in light blue. Oh, wild to law. Is there a butterfly on this? Oh, there's mushrooms on this one. But this isn't what I was looking for originally. Where's the wild folk? Uh, what about Charlotte's Web? Maybe Charlotte's Web has a butterfly? No, it has a spider. It has a spider. Of course, of course it has a spider. Oh, what about Zone the Forest of Secrets? This is set in a forest, but no butterflies. Hawk lights, this is set in the forest. No butterflies. Time Green Magic. No butterflies. I'm gonna give up. I can't find that Wild Folk book. I can't find the first book in the series. This is why rainbow shelves don't work for me. A book with exactly 16 letters in the title and with red on the cover. Love you. I love you too. Right, let's go over here. <laughs> okay, 16. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 8, 14, 15, 16. Uh, loads more than that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17! Oh my god, there was 17 on that one! Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 again! Oh no! Oh, why? Why are you doing this to me? 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Oh my. Right, I've got 217 and 115. I'm struggling. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I found another 15. Oh man, I can't find one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. <laughs> I'm determined to find one now. I'm determined. <laughs> Honestly, I would just take any with 16 letters. I'll take any, even if it doesn't have red on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And there's no red. I found one, the graveyard book, um, but there's no red on that cover. But you know what? A book by a northern author, a northern author. So, I mean, Scotland's in the north. <laughs> so maybe a Scottish author, my favorite Scottish author is in here somewhere. El McNichol, Kind of Spark. I love that one. I mean, I wish I could find okay, other books as well. If I could find Like a Charm. Oh wait, I did, I found it. I wanted to say Like a Charm, El McNichol. I love that book so much. A book that you have no idea what it's about. I mean, <laughs> literally 99% of these shelves apparently. Wish by Barbara O'Connor. I do really want to read this one. It was gifted to me by a subscriber and I have been meaning to read this one. It looks like one that's going to make me cry, but I know nothing about it. So, there we go. Three characters of colour on one cover. Actually, there's one that I recently talked about and I just bought. Oh, there's four. I bought four on the cover. It's not three, but it's four. So does that count? Does that count? Can I do four? We've got one, two, three, four. Onyeka and the Academy of the Sun by Tola Kogu. This one is about a girl who can control her hair and she ends up joining the Academy of the Sun, which is a school in Nigeria. And there's other people there who kind of use um, powers and magic. It's a bit like kind of like X-Men-esque. So yes, there's that one. And it's four characters of color on the cover though. A book that makes your heart chakra explode with joy. Oh, with joy. So that's made me so happy. Oh, I know. That's Rainbow Grey by Laura Ellen Anderson. This one just makes me so happy. So, so happy. It's about Ray Grey who doesn't have power. She lives in the Weatherlands and they all control like the weather and stuff. And she ends up taking a forbidden expedition to Earth where she gets rainbow magic, which is rare and dormant. And it's just so wholesome and beautiful and lovely and amazing. I love it. Please show us 2022's best debut novel so far. Right, well, the problem with that is that I barely read middle grade this year. I can tell you one of the most popular ones is Scandar and the Unicorn Thief by A.F. Stedman, but I haven't read that one yet. Show us a book you would love to narrate the audiobook version of. Ooh, that's a good one. The Cheetah Girls, okay. I would absolutely love to narrate the Cheetah Girls books. I mean, I didn't love them that much, or really at all, but I feel like if I narrate them, I would be able to put in some songs in there, I'd be able to do all of the different characters. I would be fantastic at the audiobook of the Cheetah Girls. That is one huge stack. I've done well. A title with the same amount of letters as your name, so good at the in five. Are you counting my last name as well? We'll just call first name. A one word title with five letters. Oh, that actually might be really hard. Let's just see how much Gavin Hetherington gets up to, and if it's 16, you can fuck yourself. So five, uh, H-A-T-H-E-R-I-N-G-T-O-N. 17! <gasps> okay, we're gonna do that, we're gonna do Gavin Hetherington 17. Cause I got loads. <laughs> I got lost of 17. Okay. And what were they again? <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Top Marks for Murder by Robin Stevens. This is a murder most and like book. And it is 17 letters long, like my name. That worked out well, didn't it? Pit oh my god, this is amazing. Pick a random book from a series and then find all the books in that series. So I've just done murder most and like. I feel like that has a lot of books in loads of different places because there's loads of different colour spines. I feel like that would be the most fun. So let's see if we can find all the murder most needed like books. So we have one. One and I'm sure there might be ten to find. Well no, nine more to find. Right, okay. Right, we've got Jolly Foul Play. We've got Death Set Sail. <laughs> That's two. Oh, first class murder. There. So we found three. Arsenic for tea. 
There's four. Gosh damn, there's way more. Oh, spoonful of murder. Yes, I've got a spoonful of murder. I'm sure one of them is a dark blue. Yep, once upon a crime. Once upon a crime, so that's six. That's six I have now. So which ones am I missing? Oh, the first one, which was like a light blue. There it is. There's the first one, murder more than lady like. So that's, what, seven, eight. So I feel like I've got two more to find. So what am I missing? Maybe a purple one. I think it might be a purple one. Death in the Spotlight? Where's that one? Oh, there's another, has another creep ones of crime. I wasn't thinking of this one, but that's another one. And then there's another one at the bottom. Okay, perfect. Top marks for murder on here as well. And I believe this is all of the Murder Most and Later Like series, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Perfect. A book that reminds you of your latest experience in the bathroom for number two. A, a book that reminds you of your latest experience in the bathroom for number two. <laughs> so like the experience or like if it was hard to pass, if I struggled, or oh, maybe if like, did I struggle during my last bowel movement? It took a while. It did take a while to come out. Um, <laughs> so maybe a book that took a while to get into. Maybe this is what, maybe that's what this question means. Like a book that took a while to get into. <sighs> <laughs> what a great question, though. The Girl Who Circumnavigated Fairyland in a Ship of Her Own Making by Catherine M. Valente. This one did take me a little while to get into. This did feel a little bit too whimsical for me at points. But, I mean, I did end up getting into it. It just took me a while to get into it. So I hope that answers the question. Authors with the same initials as you. The only author I know of that has the same initials as me is Grady Hendrix. And that's over there. And again, none of these are in alphabetical order by author surname. So I can't look to see if there's an author that has a surname with H because it's everywhere. So I don't think there is a middle grade author on my shelves that have GH as an initial. A book that contains the letters Gavin in the title. So a good at the itna. Why have I never done this question before? I feel like this should be done so that when this question comes up, I can easily grab it. So I feel like the rarest letter in my name is a V. So a middle grade book with a V in the title, like Vane, Vile, V, V, Vic, Vin, Villain. Why can't I think of V words? Or words with a V in them. <laughs> Gravy, Evolution, V, A, Norga. Ooh, hang on. Grave, G, A, V, A. You're kidding me. No N. Have you seen how long this title is? The Whistle, The Grave, and The Ghost? No N? Oh, for God's sake. It, not even in the author names either. John Blair's Brad Strickland. <gasps> there is Brad Strickland! I'm just going to use that. So, G, A, B, A, N. Yeah. We have shortest book. What will be my shortest book? It'll probably... Oh, I think I know what my shortest book is, actually. On these shelves. It's a... Uh, Little Percy Jackson novella thing, or like a Will Book Day book. We have Percy Jackson and the Singer of Apollo, which is like 51 pages. So I feel like this is definitely the shortest book. Gaze in Space. I wish I could find that for you in middle grade. I really do. Book three in any series that you've actually read. Um, When you say actually read, is that a hint? <laughs> so the third book in a series I've read. I'm going to go for... A series that there's loads of. The Edge Chronicles. This is Midnight Over Sanctifrax, which is book three of the Twig Saga. And I love this series. This is my childhood favourite series. Quite possibly one of my favourite series of all time. Oh, I like this. Right, books with the letters of your name. However, G, black book. A, blue. V, green. I, red. And yellow. I love this. This is very specific. I love the specificity. So I just need to find a black book with G in it. Bridge of Souls. A blue, Voyage of the Sparrowhawk. V green, okay, this, this might be harder than I thought. Oh, there's a W there. Oh, there's a Z, there's a Z in green. Oh, I found the first Wild Folk book. No butterflies though. <gasps> Marvel, yes, we've got a V. We've got a V, Marvelous Land of Snakes. I read, I read, I read nothing. <laughs> Kensuke's Kingdom, N yellow. Dragon Rising. Book with good trans representation for middle grade. Um, I, I got gifted one 
for my birthday, or it was probably a bit before then, it was a black one. The Ship We Built by Lexi Bean. I haven't actually read this one yet, but I do know that this has a trans character in it. Oh, hang on, there is one that I have read. Uh, Strange World's Travel Agency by L.D. Lipinski. That one has a trans main character in it as well. Right, I feel like I got so many books out of that, like an incredible amount of books. I don't even know how long this video has been going on for. So I will leave it there. Thank you so much for watching. And thank you so much for submitting your prompts as well. I really do appreciate that. I should probably do this with my adult and YA shelves as well, quite possibly. But uh, yeah, I had a blast. I hope you did as well. Please leave this video a like if you did and subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you would have picked for any of those prompts. If you know, like a book with a crown on, that's middle grade. A book with butterflies on, that's middle grade. Let me know in the comments. I'm sure there's loads that I've missed. But yeah, thank you so much to all my parents as well for being incredible, beautiful people. I have a link to my Patreon as well as all my social medias down in the description box. If you want to join me on any of those, you don't have to, but it'll be nice to have you there. And yeah, I will hopefully see you in the next video. Bye.